Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the future value of an investment using Microsoft Excel. Let's open up Excel and we're going to click on our start button. Go to all programs. We'll go to Microsoft Office. Let's just open up Excel. Now let's say for, for instance that you're going to be depositing some money into a savings account in a bank. So I'm going to show you uh, basically a simple formula that you're going to run to calculate how much your investment will be worth uh, in a certain number of years. So let's insert a function by doing, hitting this little f of x right here in Excel for insert function. That brings up a search screen. We're going to search for the function fv and type go. fv means future value. So let's select fv in the returns and press OK. Now this brings up the function uh, argument screen. Um, let's say that our bank is going to give us a return of 2% uh, per month, which is a, a huge return. So what we would do to calculate that 2% per month would be 2%, just type in 2%, and then divided by 12, because that's a monthly uh, percentage rate increase. Now the N per is the total number of payments that you're going to make. So if we want to uh, say what this is going to be worth in five years doing monthly payments, we'll do five times 12 because there's five uh, or 12 months in a year and we're going to do uh, five years worth. So it's basically 60 months that we're going to be paying. Now this is going to, uh, this PMT value is the payment that you're going to make per month. Uh, and you'll do this is in a negative, so you'll type negative because it's a payment. That's the way Excel handles um, payments in its functions. We're going to type, let's say we'll do uh, negative uh, $150 a month. Uh, so basically we're paying the bank $150, so we do negative $150. If we'll press OK, as you can see, the future value of our investment in five years at a 2% uh, return per month, uh, paying $150 a month, is going to be $9,457.10. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to calculate the future value of an investment using Excel.